Hello everyone. Today I will be explaining about a cool project Celery which can be integrated with our Django application. Basically Celery is useful when you have a time consuming tasks that can be executed in the background and you don't want user to be blocked until unless those uh, tasks are done and finished. So I will be explaining basics of what is Celery. Uh, basic diagram of the basic block diagram of the Celery and when should we use it and then the interesting part integrating with our Django application and at the end of the video I will show you how can we use job scheduler called Celery Pit to execute our task on periodic basis for example executing the task on every 30 seconds or every hour or every minute or every week days or month so what is Celery? Celery is basically a software application that uses task queues and workers to process the tasks. I have a block diagram of the Celery. I will be explaining in detail in the next slide. Um, but the Celery it can be used to execute tasks on periodic basis as configured, and it uses uh, mainly three main components: uh, clients, which is our Django application, and then the message queue, and then the workers, which is actually used to execute the tasks. Celery is written in Python, but the proto can also be implemented in multiple languages. For example, multiple languages. For example, Node Celery is is used for Node.js projects, and then the communication between these main components, client means the, our Django application, worker, and message queue happens. Uh, using serialized data it can be json serialized data xml serialized data we will get into the details when we will integrate the Celery with our Django application so this is basic architecture of Celery where we have application in my case it's a Django application message queue there can be one or multiple message queues and then multiple workers there can be one or multiple uh, workers so basically the application whenever it has some kind of task like sending emails they can queue that task to the message queue and then there are workers listening to the message queue events uh, they will the worker will pull the task immediately from the message queue and start processing it once the task is processed by the worker they will notify to the application with a unique task ID so it's tasks which is processed by the worker uh, has unique task ID um, which is used to notify the application you will see you will see at the end of the video when how tasks are assigned to the message queue and workers are processing those tasks and Celery is actually useful when you have time consuming tasks when you want to execute the task asynchronously without blocking the main thread uh, which means um, let's let's assume we have an application where users are registered and you need to send email create database entries on the background and sending emails creating database entries takes some time let's say two seconds each of them which means four seconds once user have created uh, their account they will have to wait four seconds to get the success message but we can avoid that we can improve the performance we can actually uh, use um, Celery to send emails create database entries and if there are heavy things like processing images it can be done on the background but we can send the response immediately to the user so that user don't have to wait unless uh, sending email and creating database entry tasks are done on the background so if you have that kind of situation then it's useful to use Celery um, and uh, you can also use Celery to execute the task on regular basis for example sending emails every Friday morning or uh, on every Monday you can execute some clone jobs every hour uh, if you have that kind of situation, it's good to use Celery or Celery use will be useful. There are other options as well, but Celery is quite useful uh, on those scenarios. 
now let's move to the integration part um, I will go through each steps one by one so initially we need to install we will be creating Django application with simple API then we will move to the next step of installing installing Celery and Redis Redis is actually the message broker the message queue can also be called as message broker so you can follow the link uh, the official documentation of Django where it has a pretty good instruction about how to install the Django application for me I have already installed the Django application so uh, let's check yes so I have already you can install the Django application if you want to verify the installation you can do Django admin just as person I have installed 2.1.7 let's create a simple Django application start it I will call, call it DJ Celery app Django Celery application app CD Django Celery app now Python 3 I'm using Python 3 just to make sure that I'm using Python version number 3 because I have installed multiple other versions as well for other different purposes uh, let me migrate so it will create database and just make sure that post degrees and everything whatever is required to run the Django application is installed in this case post degrees is installed uh, Python 3 manage run server run server so let's check if server is running so as you can see Django application has been installed successfully and it's running now the second is step creating a simple API let me open Visual Studio Code yes code oh sorry mm, code Visual Studio uh, let me open that Visual Studio Code um, and I will open the project uh, Django it's called Django tutorials Django Celery app open the project now let's create a simple API let's go to the terminal let me be inside the correct application now I will create a simple Django admin start start app let's call it blocks uh, you will see that here and then in the views I will create a simple function called get, get blog request and then I will return JSON response of atom data. This is just an example. So let's say I want success. 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 True. Then the message. Uh, let me call it. Um, Simple API response. Yeah, and now we need to import the JSON response from Django dot HTTP import Django response and do not forget to include blocks inside the install application now we need to configure the root or the router for that block view from logs views import get a block this is i know this is not the best practices so this is just an example to create a simple api view get the block now we can test this view we can make sure your application is running we can go to the installed application and then if we type in 
blocks you will see that we can get the response um success and then simply we are response. so we are done with the first part of this step this one instrument gender application and creating a simple api view let's move to the second step install celery and the various message broker i have done this already or i have installed it on my computer so i won't do it again you can do p3 install i have also p3 install for celery and p3 install for redis or you can go to the redis um, official web page and download the project ready 6.0.5 unzip it get into the folder and you can use make command to build the project and at the end uh, you can run the ready server using this command source ready server so i have already done that if you check my directory i have already installed uh, ready 6.0.5 this is the folder which is actually this is the folder which has been downloaded from the redis web page now we can run uh, source slash source yeah, redis dash server so make sure this is running and make sure that the port number let me include the height of my terminal yep then you will see that the port is running you can verify if uh, the server is running or not this is one way you can check the server you can also use various client as mentioned in the various documentation and use ready cli and then set key value here just for an example so i'm in the right directory source um, ready CLI now we are the so we are using Redis client to connect with the Redis server. We can say set let's say time right now is 1325. Just an example. So you can get the value of the time. So time is key and 1325 is the value. So you can get the value from the key value store. Make sure this is running up and running and make sure that celery is installed so, so once you have installed the celery you will see celery version celery dash version you will see that the version which is which has been installed into the your computer for me it's work on 4.5 let's go to the second step so for second step we need to modify settings that py now this part is about integrating our celery or Django application with the Celery. Uh, you can actually follow this URL, which is official documentation about Celery. How can we integrate Celery application with our Django application? Uh, you can read the whole documentation, but I have read it, so I will just be quick. Uh, we have to create and file called celery.py we can copy paste the stuff from the official documentation and change the configuration so our project is called dj celery app so it's called dj celery app am i right yes that's right so there are mainly three things that you have to do change settings that py create celery that py and modify in it dot py so we need to modify we need to modify in it dot py uh, we can go to the initial so basically what it does is whenever Django application is started uh, it will load the celery application automatically because this is included in the init.py file um, next now we have to define some of the global variables in settings to py let's go to settings let's create some variables 
still haven't copied this so let me go go to URL just to save a bit of time and I set content so I set content is uh, we will be using JSON the third is Siberi task serializer and we will be using JSON format for that as well for Celery broker UI we can use uh, already is client URL copy then we can do this like HTTP there we can use RBIS this column then localhost and then the port number now yes uh, so we have included the global variable required by the celery and now we will create task.py under our Django app and create a simple celery tasks celery task okay um, let's go to the blocks app tasks.py so all the celery tasks will be included in this file um, from import shared task define I will define a function called let's say sleep well I will pass in the duration the duration and then I will actually sleep use the sleep function of time package as well as the sleep and let's say the sleep and the u and the duration yeah this sleep sleep no let me print something um yes yes you are sleeping for um let's say variable to include the duration seconds dot format and then the and duration now in order to make it celery task we have we can use a decorator called shared task so basically with this our application will be able to queue this task into the message queue so that the worker can process it mm, that's all we have created a, a simple celery task now we need to run uh, the worker process we need to run a separate process um, to start the worker who will process the task from the message queue let me run the server uh, worker process into this one this terminal uh, cd django application so it says you see the command minus a and then the name of the project for me is django underscore celery underscore app worker and then minus l log label info you will see did ah error terminator something is wrong yes oh, no nothing is wrong so this is just a warning message so now you you will see that this process is able to connect with the ready server this message is because uh, we are using debug mode in the settings we can actually turn this off we can go to debug mode can make it false and we can use our local host don't run for this we have to restart our server as well as the celery worker process now you won't be able to now you won't be able to see the warning message so our 
ciliary worker process is running now the, the interesting thing is now we can test this so in order to test it let's go back to our blog you will see that uh, this is using a view inside blocks views uh, let me import the task this was created inside task from blocks but tasks import a sleep well function now I can use this function in a normal way let's say I want to sleep for five seconds now if I go back to the blog if I refresh this you will see it will wait for one two three four five it's done it so the user has to wait for five seconds let's see one two three four five yeah but we can avoid that we just have to say dot D -E -D -E -L -A -Y. this is ciliary way of saying that queue this function into the message queue using dot delay function so dot delay and then the parameter which is required for sleep well function now um, with this approach user will not have to wait for the five seconds see see it's not loading yeah so on the background you there are things quite cool things going on in the background so whenever request is received by the server it will because of dot delay it will queue uh, the task into the message queue and you can see this is the worker processing ciliary worker processing the task what it does is whenever a new task is in the message queue it will pull the task uh, from the message queue and it will process the task and at the end it has it says task has been processed successfully succeeded and then this is the task id i was talking about in task id for each task right now you see there are one two three because i have refreshed three multiple times uh, just to make clear i can refresh again and the user don't have to wait for five seconds then it, the worker has received the task from the SHQ it has it was processing it for five seconds sleeping for five seconds and then at the end it has successfully executed the task yes yeah, so this is basically how we can integrate Celery with our Django application now the last part of the video how can we execute the same task on regular basis on periodic basis let's say on every 10 seconds for that we need to uh, go to our settings settings.py and we have to configure ciliary beat for that uh, we can use ciliary ciliary underscore bit underscore yes ciliary bit schedule we can configure this this is a ciliary bit schedule yeah that's right uh, i can name it anything call function that's all then we can provide the configuration so task we can say which uh task do we want to execute blocks want to execute blocks that task that slip underscore well that's true yeah and then yes so it's a really schedule yeah. schedule for 10 seconds and a just argument argument for the function uh, let's say two so what it does is uh, we have a sleep well function inside blocks task tasks dot py which accepts one argument so we can send that argument as two so this task 
will be processed on every 10 seconds and it will be sleeping for two seconds uh, now we have to after changing the settings uh, we need to execute a serial repeat process Uh, for silly repeat we have to do silly minus a dj underscore name of the application silly app and then beat yeah beat then minus log level info let me run this Django server has no attribute silly In the right I'm sorry uh, and not in the right project cool so we didn't have any issue running the silly repeat command I will include this command in the slide Slayer delay oh no actually I am in next slide <laughs> sorry so this is the last part of the project executing task on regular basis so we have to run the ciliary worker uh, in order to schedule the task on periodic basis in this case uh, you can see that it it was able to connect with the ready server and on every 10 seconds because i have configured it to execute after 10 seconds you can see sending do task sleep well on every 10 seconds it is queuing the task into the message queue and then you see on the next window the process uh, the worker process is executing the task you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah yeah, see on every 10 seconds uh, cellular is uh, queuing the task into the message queue and then message queue is actually processing the task uh, so but it can be used this um, beat can actually be customized to include um, different schedules you can go to the documentation of the celery project and at the end of the web page you can see there are different options we can use chrome tab to say okay execute on particular day of a week on every monday at 7 30 there are different multiple options that you can use to execute the task on different duration different time intervals yeah that's all i guess this was useful and if you have any queries please ask me on the comment section or you can ask me on twitter if you have any questions that's all thank you